Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next episode of the Apex Show. Today we have a very special episode for you because... Um, because it's a special episode, I guess. Oh, no, just kidding. Yeah, um, today morning I woke up pretty early uh, because I was on a trip. I was on a quick trip back to Slovakia, to my home con- country, and now came back. Um, had some school and recording this at 11 p.m., but I had a few, have a few things that I really want to share with you uh, from the past few days. And yeah, uh, just about performance and and just general mindset stuff that I found really valuable and want to share it with other people uh, just because I really think that it can help you as well. And currently, even though in the world there are many things that aren't working, scams, etc., etc., I'm just like really trying to share the, all the stuff that's currently working for me so that you can go apply it and crush it as well. Great. Uh, so where to start? Mm, maybe just a first like reflection on, on some stuff that I've been doing and the stuff that's been kind of working, working out for me. Um, there was one thing, if I just look at like my, my career and, and essentially all the stuff that I've done, there was one, one habit that not a lot of people talk about and it has helped me a lot. And that was kind of just really playing with the correlation of how much time you're putting into certain things and the output. And just like not really focus, focusing specifically on the output um, of what you're going to create, but more rather focusing on how much time you're investing into that. Because when you're starting out, you're learning a lot of stuff and you don't have real realistic timelines on how long you think long enough is. And um, it kind of helps you just to focus on, on actually putting the work in uh, instead of being pretty, like just extremely focused on, on the bad things, essentially on the results when you're just starting out. So when there was like the transition of me failing school, failing high school to me being like the best students, um, one of the best students there, and finishing my A-levels with triple A star, um, the one thing that I did the whole time was just measure my time. And there's this one app, it's called Clockify app. It's a free app and it enables you just to track how much time you're spending on different activities. And I remember I just like started using that app and every single day I made a goal that I would, let's say, spend eight, 10, sometimes even 12 or 13 hours just studying. And those 12 or 13 hours are like, you're, you're, you're focused and you're studying. Whenever you go and eat something or go to a bathroom or whatever, you just stop the timer. And this really kind of aligns your incentives, I would say, or aligns your goals. Because for me, what I found on myself yeah, is like, yes, I, I sometimes... <laughs> Like I'm a very impatient person and I want to finish everything very early so that I'm able to do do other stuff. But essentially when you just, just create a block of time and just make a goal, like study, for example, study studying itself or just working on something else or, or just create more time where you can do some mean, meaningful work. This enables you to just upgrade your standard to a whole new level, essentially. It's... It's a thing that I already discovered maybe in the past month. Since I'm like pretty much, I, I just stopped doing, doing many things and, and really redirected majority of my energy to school. I'm, I, like, I'm doing the best that I've ever done in university so far. Even though there are some things that still need to be, adjo- still need to be adjusted and I'm like working on that um, all the time. But essentially like the more it's it, it's it works like that in everything you need to track the metrics you need to have the data if you don't have the data you can't really make any any informed decisions in order to improve your tracking in in order to improve the the things that really matter so yeah even just tracking your time like it, it's a great it's a great exercise which is like look where you're spending your time it, it's just Open your opens your eyes because many people are saying that they don't have enough time. I would say like rather they don't have enough focus or they don't they don't really know how much time they're spending doing some stupid things. 
Yeah, you don't need to sacrifice sleep. I mean, sleep is one of the biggest factors even for me. I really prioritize it. And every single night I want to have at least seven, like seven and a half hours. That's great because it enables me to work even more efficiently and just put the best to the 12 hours that I have, I have available. So, um, and yeah, it's, it's just about the time that you, you put in. Uh, it's like a direct correlation, even in terms of like... If you look at pilots and how they look, how they learn how to fly, they have a certain threshold of how many flight hours they need to have in order to get their commercial license. And it kind of works like that in many things, at least what I found out. If you, for example, a great example was like currently we're doing some SQL coding stuff. I've never really done coding and <laughs> I was really embarrassed, like embarrassed or, and like just really, I felt really weird when I was just learning that because I never really was very proficient at that. So when I just started doing that, I was just so overwhelmed and didn't really know how to move forward. But in the last two or three days, I made like so much progress. I even like start, I'm starting to pick it up pretty fast. And the only thing that I actually did was stop focusing on the actual result and just start focusing on how much time I'm giving, giving it uh, and how much, yeah, how much I'm putting in this week so far I I done I did like I made a goal for myself like this week I'll invest around 60 hours uh, of full focus into that um, on Monday we did something like I'm not sure what the time tracking Monday was I can check it out on Monday just give me a sec yeah on Monday we did eight hours Yesterday I did just one hour, but yesterday I was traveling to a different country and today we did another eight, eight hours. So we were on like 17 hours so far, just, just on the one subject. And like the progress we made is, is like just really, really great. So, but that it, it's just about the time that you put in, the more time and focused effort you put in, the better you get. And again, again, the lesson and <laughs> I learned on the mistake I made again. Is just start tracking that, that again because usually how we how we even even went for me in the past is that I just started using this and then I stopped using that because I felt so good and everything was going so right and then I okay again realized that okay we are not not doing so fine in many things so I just need to uh, get back on the track so just get just getting there and still still it's it's about priorities just just having very clear priorities and once you have them then going after that. And even what what I like to do, this was the actually the first time that I've been outside of Vienna since I, I came from Orlando. I don't really travel that much and just really trying to be focused as much. But I love traveling and I just love traveling itself because it just gives me so much time to just think about ideas. And like yesterday as I, as I was traveling back home to Slovakia, I just had so much time to read so many or listen to so many podcasts and get back to uh, different episodes, mainly Alex Ramosi, Russell Branson, marketing, and, and just, just these these things, mindsets. And like, I've been able to solve so much stuff. And even today, um, like I, I essentially been there just like 12 hours, uh, woke up today at five just to get back here at, until like nine because I had a class. But I like travel, even like until the end of the year, I'm pro probably, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, if I'm not going to be just fully focused, but um, I would like to, or I would love to go and see Northern Europe just to, just to be, be there and just to expand my horizons there. I'll probably do that just, just for the sake of doing that uh, really like a rush tour just to see that and we'll see. Yeah, it's, it's about subtraction. I, I believe, at least from what I see and what works for me, is more about subtraction than addition. Just really subtract, subtracting all the things so that you have, okay, like 12, 13 hours every single day that you can put, put meaningful, meaningful work, even in terms of fitness, okay? I made the sacrifice. Um, a year ago, I was still like trying to pursue multiple things at the same time. Last year, at 20 years old, I was in the best shape ever. And even though I wasn't really competing or anything else, I was just really pushing it hard. 
even in terms of weights, I was just lifting. So like I, I did all of my PRs last year and they were like super high uh, for what I consider super high, like not competing, but just doing it for myself. And I, I just, like, the, the, it was a lot just working out, doing like marketing and a bunch of other stuff. But now we're really trying to get even a bunch more focus and everything else and just that just to dial down on that one thing and just just start operating at a whole new level which is kind of great but at the same time you just can operate at a uh like many different different i guess um you can be an expert in many different things at the same time but yeah it's, it's just Find a thing that you love doing and that you don't that you would be doing at at one a.m. or at eleven p.m. or whatever, and you just keep doing that. And I guess all the other things will sort themselves out. Yeah, so that was one thing. Track your time. It's it's so great. It's it will change your life. You just need to do that. What's the second thing here? I just have a list that wrote down yeah like getting going is the hardest that was another point that i have here just great realization that like first 20 hours i guess are the hardest because you just don't really know what you're doing but after the first 20 hours you just get the basics down and just start building up on that and then you slowly gain momentum it's the same as with a gym um maybe on a longer time horizon but uh, like going to the gym and staying in staying Keeping going into the gym the first week or first month is the hardest. If you do that for a year or two and you see your results, then it's pretty much a self-sustaining habit that just gives you so much energy and even like emotions and everything else that you you just need to go there. Um, it's a new need that, that you create for yourself that just to work out. And in terms of yeah, everything else, I guess you just need to confront it and, and be really upfront and just put the 20 hours there um, immediately. And, and based on that, just move forward and really have your goals very clear, I guess. And it's, yeah, it's it's everything about time. Um, maybe a great idea, uh, even for me for the future, for maybe the upcoming few days, because yeah, I'm, I'm like a normal human being and we all of us has, have different like patterns in terms of how productive we are. But a great idea that I heard from one podcast I listened to today is just, okay, set, set a certain time range of how long you should work for every single day and just prevent yourself from doing anything else than the work that needs to be done. Because between you and whatever goal you have is just a work that needs to be done and you just need to confront it and that's it. It doesn't really care how hard you look, how 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 you look, or how you feel, or whatever else. It just needs to be done, and that's that's the first and most important thing. So, just put the hours in, and take it take it as a priority. And even like a big learning point for me is that uh, I'm gonna probably just really becoming more and more essential in many things, because yeah, like this year. Maybe even last year, uh, this year was even more of that, I guess. Just trying to uh, be kind of digital nomad, travel the world. I had different reasons why I went to the US and I treat it as a positive investment from my side. But on the other hand, it's just, I re wasn't really able to work there. All of the videos that I was recording, um, I essentially like we had a pro scheduling problems there. We had team coordination problems when I was uh, in a time zone that was 12 hours behind my actual time zone where my team was. So those were kind of like big problems for me. And I didn't really feel that I was fully focused there. And yeah, even in terms of life, another kind of maybe um, that might be uh, saying that the older person would be saying, but just, just in terms of if you imagine or if you define what a great day is for you, like just maybe take some time and, and just write, take a paper and just write down what a great day would be for you. Like what would the best kind of day look like for you? What do we, what would you be doing? And once you have that, then you just like Im essentially just, just think about this, that 
great life or great year or great month is just a sum of a few great days following each other. So, so your goal essentially now would be to just stack as many of these good days behind each other. Um, yeah, for me, I'm just stacking as many like 12 hour, at least 12 or 13 hour really focused days, early morning gym, then just working for 12 hours straight uh, on the on the priority, smashing all the goals. And yeah, that's pretty it. That's, that's pretty much it. Not that hard. Uh, but just the works work needs doing and that that's pretty much it um yeah i mean there's still different kind of there there when you're just starting out uh everything feels you have like that that kind of enthusiasm that everything feels so so easy which kind of gives you the drive even to start which is really great but then you slowly realize that what you think that that you need to do way more, like not in percent, but like in tens of multiples of what you think you should do in order to achieve your goals. Like it's it, it's really just mind blowing in terms of, for example, posting content, how much training you're doing, um, how how focused you are, because there are just so many different things that you need, really need to di- dial in, and based on that, you actually make the progress that will bring you forward. To, towards what you what you essentially want, so maybe just a point on that. Um. Yeah, even in terms of like another point that I wrote here is that choose a few things. That's a great point. Just choose a few things, and basically maybe like one thing that's that's gonna define you and what you're gonna be doing for the next twenty years. I personally, after listening to pretty much, I guess, all the podcasts of Alex Ramones that are out there, because I really, um, I now, based on the experience that I have and based on being um, like just in different kind of situation, um, situations, in, even in the past, like just there are people just stealing money from me and from my businesses, etc. I just... made the decision to really focus on a few things and become really good at them. So yeah, just just find one thing and, and do that for the next 10 years, next 20 years. Alex Ramosi spoke about that. Just pick one niche and uh, have a very long time horizon and then just enjoy the ride. It's just going for something great you might not see the results within the first three years but if you just stick on the road and like down in the next 10 years you could be it could be really huge if you just go full out but it's it's just about even like really thinking about the person who you need to be in order to operate at, at, at that level of how you need to act how you need to operate how you how you need to think it's just you need to completely reinvent yourself if you're just and just create a whole different personality who would be kind of at the level of achievement at which you would like to be. So just a quick, quick point to think about. Overcoming internal resistance. Uh, all of us have kind of like internal resistance. For example, you wake up and you snooze your alarm, you want to sleep some more. Like there are different kind of even for example, for me, like just coming here and just recording this podcast when I'm that that tired after working, um, after waking up at like 5 a.m. and um, traveling to a different country and doing then working for 12 hours. It's just sometimes acting is way better than just waiting for the perfect moment. That's that's a great point. Um, there was this one study done that I guess like there were two groups. It was with one with university, and both of them were supposed to create kind of like a bowl, um, like a design a bowl or just some kind of pot or something like that. And the one group was told that they could they they were supposed to create one pot every single day and just try to improve every next spot that they create or throughout the next 100 days. And the other uh, group was told that they, they need to just, 
design one pod and that that one single pod that they will be designing for the next 100 days will be perfect and what they actually found out was that throughout these 100 days the, the group that created a different pod every single day they learned much faster and in the end the pods that they created or like the final results were much much better than the group that just spent all of their time focusing on just or just the one pot. And what I even like take from this or even applied from this um, kind of mentality or just how I applied it in my businesses and all of the activities I'm doing is just, okay, just put out, for example, imperfect content and just go out and just do the actual stuff because you will never be perfect and... Um, you can at least get some feedback and based on the feedback, you can improve much faster. It's just putting stuff out, out there is just like going into situation and, and taking action even if you aren't a perfect candidate yet and don't have all the information yet. You just like feel faster, but at the same time, you learn so much so much more. Uh, for example, there was this one, a kind of like event, entrepreneurship event when there was like a company came and um, they, we were supposed to create kind of like a case for them of how we sh would solve their marketing problem. Uh, it was kind of like a case for me. So, uh, and I came there half, half an hour later and just a few minutes uh, after I came, they told me that I should present something and I didn't have the background and I should pre should have presented bit before the founder of the company, which was kind of like, okay, you don't have the um, even the background of the company and you should present something. So I just came out with something and, and, and just pulled it off. Um, and in the end, they told me like I should. I don't really need to present, but uh, I told myself like, okay, that's a great idea. I, I just just to train my presenting spil skills and just just to move myself a bit further. So great, I just did that, and, and just really searching for opportunities for you where you can train yourself and be uncomfortable. That's essentially the main goal. And it's it's more about that's even like a conversation that I had yesterday with my dad. Um, I mean, he's one of the persons who I really just just trust, trust a lot and many things that I'm trying to, and even thinking about them, I'm just like always kind of discussing that with him. Um, not because he has kind of like maybe achieved, he, he has achieved many things in, in different verticals where I'm not really trying to go at least. I'm just like really, he's a person I, I really trust and in, in many things I'm doing. So, and yeah, so, um, it's great to have like people who you can really trust and just that kind of support you as you as you're going further uh, and you just yeah it's cool another thing creating problems yeah that, that was maybe just like a very quick comment that many people are just trying to create pro problems as it's kind of like there is this this mentality and maybe even that i can really describe it pretty well on on my kind of, I'm not sure if it was a fuck up, but like, as I told you about tracking time and how it's important and how it enables you to be super productive. So I was tracking time like two years ago, I had just a super performance. I was killing it. Uh, like that, that time I was just smashing absolutely everything. Um, at least the goals that I had, but that led to me um, getting more comfortable and not using it anymore to not having that good results to me wanting better results, which led to me again, picking up, picking up the same model and doing the same thing. So um, if you want just good results, just, just focus on, on actually doing the stuff that's working and just, just becoming better uh, in the things that you're doing. It's, it's not sometimes about doing more, but doing, doing less and doing, doing higher quality. It is it's like doing a video, um, editing a video. It's it's more about the quality than actually the quantity of, of what you produce. Kind of like a great concept to think about. Yeah, I guess that that's kind of like it. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else that I would like to mention uh, in this very quick podcast. I just wanted to. to jump out here again and tell you that you, need, you should go and pursue all of your craziest dreams and just do some stuff that really excites you um the more stuff you do the more 
you'll discover which stuff actually interests you and based on that you will be able to make actually like some accurate decisions and based on them you will do the like get get eventually to the thing that you really enjoy doing you really enjoy doing for example for me it's kind of getting clear and clear in terms of social media we just really need to plan it out and um even the next few months it's like just there's so many people involved i'm even trying to involve it's great to network and just get get into surroundings of people who are way further ahead than you who can give you certain pieces of advice that you wouldn't be able otherwise to to get it's it's more about like like just the work just needs doing i guess it's just like okay if you want to become a content creator you just need to create videos and get better at them and just record so many of them that would it would be unreasonable for you to for you to be un, to not be good at them um like that's the same with like learning how to code just spend so many hours coding that it would be unreasonable for you to not not be good at coding for example for me they told me that i should code for 20, 250 hours just to pass the one subject and that's the minimum requirement which is essentially if you think about the 250 hours is just like one whole month of working it's how much is it if you would be working let's let's see it's 250 divided by let's say 30 it's it's like if you would be working 8.3 hours every single day for a month like even weekends and that's just uh that's just like the bare minimum so Sometimes it's really good to surround yourself with other people so that you you're able to understand how much it is actually to get good at, to get to the next level. And in terms of like there, there there are just so many different facets that you need to learn. Even in terms of you want to get good at fitness, you want to get good at that that that. You can grab pretty much like the the, the biggest nuggets immediately, but then all the details that they can a longer and like most importantly implementation takes longer even in terms of like fitness and all of these things it's just um you just really need to be patient with this because it kind of takes time uh but just just kind of really really focus on the things that you want and maybe it's great to take advice from people who are further ahead, ahead of you but definitely just kind of it's important to assess the context in which the advice was given. Maybe in terms of university, for example, if you are considering if you should go to university or if you shouldn't. But like, first off, definitely consider which country you're, you're at, like where you're, where in the world are you currently at. If you're, for example, in Austria, as I am, like, I mean, going to university might not be that bad of a deal uh, because it's free. And the universities here are kind of good, even in the entire Europe. I mean, it's kind of really great here. On the other hand, if you're in the US and you should pay 30K a year, maybe even more, or throughout four years, you would be in a debt of $250,000, dollars just for a basic college degree from an unknown university. That's a really good thing to think about. And, and just to assess whether that's really the best I mean, if that I would be in that situation, I would just really definitely think about it. Um, essentially, like I'm even currently applying for master's degree, and I'm really like engaged in that and thinking through a lot of stuff there. But I mean, just thinking about that, I, I have a lot of friends in the U.S. and if I, I would be supposed to be uh, like three hundred grand or four hundred grand in debt uh, at the time I would be finishing my uni, that would be really screwed up. So just really kind of um it's great to have a bigger context of of who's giving you advice and if they really know what you're currently going through because many of the like english resources that i was reading they were really tailored for the u.s market and if you have never been to the u.s you can really understand how the whole system there is working and it's about just really finding the thing that you really like the most and then just then just going for that i guess and doing that for the next 20 years it's it's great it's just about patience i'm still trying to learn that just really being patient maybe just um yeah it's it's just like 
if you think about it, it's not that kind of, it's not rocket science. You just wake up and you just put, make a few steps forward every single day. If you like put eight or 10 hours towards your like goals every single day of meaningful work, then throughout the next month or two months, you would be so far or you would be so much further ahead. But it kind of takes um, a lot of sacrifice as well. Just to sacrifice the things that you don't really want to have more of the things that you actually want, which is which is kind of like the um, alpha omega of everything what you're doing here. So great, guys. I will summarize it here. Uh, I'll be back soon. Uh, as always, if you have any prompts or anything else for me, any questions, feel free to shoot me a message on my Instagram, Jacob Bartek. And I'll be back soon. In the meantime, peace and have a great rest of the day.